Post Premium Firewood coming to you live on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. I just thought I'd, uh, instead of making a shorts video, I thought I'd go live for you. And uh, I'm also wearing the microphone. Let me know if you can hear me. Hopefully you can. Hopefully there's people watching. It might take a few minutes to jump in because this was kind of impromptu. But I wanted to show you show you the wood we got here. We got one person watching. Now it's up to two. But Darren just brought me this. There's Chris Bishop. Chris Bishop's drinking a beer in his man cave. Termite Dave's here. So Darren brought this over here yesterday. Except for this little bit right there. You can see he uh, got these into manageable pieces. Termite Day four seven thousand videos is here, but uh, this Darren got these into manageable pieces. A thumbs down already. Yeah, them haters, they must have a really really bad life. They gotta stalk me and give me thumbs down two minutes into a not even two minutes into a video, but I I would say, and I take it you can hear me. Because like I say, I'm wearing the microphone. The last time I did it on the live stream, I had it in my pocket. And every time I bent over to pick up a log or a piece of wood, uh, it would bend this antenna or bend the, the mic connection. So I'm assuming you can hear me. You can hear, you can hear me good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I told Darren he could get these into like 50 pound pieces. These are like a 20 pound pieces or less. He, uh, he must have spent hours on this to get it. Thank you, Termite Dave. Appreciate those thumbs up, guys. Really do. But uh, you watch it on the clock. There you go. Bigger's here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start splitting this and stacking it and refilling this cherry area in here. And uh, I'm going to just, you know, split and stack at the same time. But I might have to do it uh, outside of Michigan style. I think I'll move this split. I hate picking up pieces off the ground to stack it, and, and, and that's far away. And I don't want to have to push it like Chris in the wood yard. I had Darren help me move it out here. So you see I got this, the, the Ultra staged right in between these two piles so I can work from both sides. But I'll definitely there's definitely enough here to fill all that up. And then, uh, and then I'm going to turn the splitter around and split the uh, excess in here. So yeah, I'm glad you guys can hear me. Uh, oh, I forgot to uh, forgot to grab my uh, my headphones. So yeah, I, I, uh, it's been two weeks now that the quad's been uh, down for repairs. And I ha I haven't heard anything from them yet. I'm hoping no news is good news. I don't want to hear a thousand dollar bill. I want them to just say, hey, we just been real busy. It's only two hundred fifty bucks. Come pick it up. So. But you can see the pile, we kind of put sawdust and kitty litter down on the pile of oil that, that, that uh, leaked out on it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, break up your Wednesday, and if you're watching the replay, I appreciate that. But I know right now is live, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up here because uh, I got a lot of splitting to do. I noticed that uh, Chris in the wood yard, he uh, put a heavier duty handle on his but this copper pipe's still working just fine i kind of like it because i guess he got the replacement one in and then that broke too so let me uh you know I, we're up to 17 watching now that's pretty good or 12 got six likes but uh might not get a big crowd today but uh i just thought why not and test out the microphone again and see if it works better this time with the uh with a new spot, I you know I got it in. I got it tucked in here, not down here. And then I got the cord in here, and uh, so it doesn't get caught on the wood. So let's fire this baby up. Just gassed it up. So should be uh, should be no. I don't, and I don't have to look at you guys. Should be good to go. So I can talk like this, and not have to look at the camera, and not have to yell. First pull. Hold on. I think it's in the 80s. It was into the 80s. It was kind of warm. Some of these pieces are twisted. 
but uh, I think they'll be fine. I got that big wheelbarrow there for, uh, for my rejected pieces, and then I'll just take them over to mom. She said we're done having fires, but uh, I don't know. It's supposed to be only in the 50s on Friday. I got the gloves on and on the hearing protection. Get her done. Hope everybody's having a good hump day, Wednesday. But when you work weekends, you know, like, and I'm thinking about going back down there with Darren again, Sunday, getting that other cherry tree with him. Or maybe I could go over to Herb's. You no, know, he's feeling better now, back to work. Back, but I can't really I, I can move this but I want to you know it, it takes a lot of effort especially when there's all this debris on the ground <laughs> but most of this stuff's pretty darn dry but good and solid as you can see I'll come check on you guys here in a second, see what everybody's thinking about the microphone. Do you like this better than me yelling? You can actually hear what I'm saying. I think it's supposed to rain again later today, but uh, I had to wait the rain out. That's why I'm starting a little bit later. Except for being a little twisty, this stuff, this stuff is really nice. Twisted sister. Anybody remember them? Anybody old enough to remember them? I don't know, Chris Bishop, you remember them? How about you, Termite Dave? Ford 7000. Well, maybe someday they'll invent some sort of glasses where I can see what you guys are saying, but uh, I'd be concentrating on reading, reading what you guys are saying right now. Probably lose a finger or a hand. Come over and check you here in a second. I just want to try to get some of these here in the front out of the way. But I like being able to split stack at the same time. 
but this from that end to that end is about 20 feet. And uh, this is good for about a 10 foot, 10 foot span where I could get, you know, step up, get on that side, split this side and split what I can reach. Hope you guys like these surprise live streams. Usually they don't get as one, as many views, especially when I'm running the splitter. I know you guys want to see us drop monster trees like that, like Sundays. This tree. Split one more. I finish this one. I'll do one more, and I'll come over and uh, see all. See, see who all is here. I don't know if Colleen's here or her and Frank are watching the replay tonight. She's probably out with feeding the calves. Like I said, I'm going to get this bottom row down, and then I'm going to do it outside of Michigan style. I'm going to split it right into a wheelbarrow, walk it five feet and stack it. Then I have to bend down and pick them up. Oh, can you believe it? It's almost May already? Like May Day, Saturday. So I'll be doing an inventory video. I'll probably post that on Monday on my other channel. I've already got tomorrow's video made for my other channel. Down to outside of there, it's made a video down there. So you'll have to check that out tomorrow on Joe's Firewood videos too. But I do appreciate this uh, mic that uh, Iron and Oak Deb at the mill that they hooked me up with and I hope it makes your Joe show experience better without me having to yell. Alright, union break. Uh, speaking of union break, I, I forgot to grab my drink. Got eight thumbs up, 23 watching. Let's go, uh, let's go get something to drink. It. I don't want to be splitting this for an hour. Be split for an hour and uh, get dehydrated, even though it's not that hot out. It's still nice to have something to, especially with me talking a lot. Everybody says, don't talk, don't talk. What's wrong with talking when you can work and talk at the same time, right? I right, seen somebody just commented. Um, you got so what do you guys think of the microphone? When I when I got on the splitter, can you hear me or is the motor too loud? Looks like the geese are here for breakfast. Woke me up this morning honking. It broke up when I turned away. I mean, when I walked, it probably when I uh, walked too far away, maybe. Yeah, the range is. The range is limited. It's like 10 feet. Because I mean, I, 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 I was not very far from it at all. So yeah, probably if I go farther than 10 feet, it, it gets out of range. And uh, so far this week, 
Um, actually, Darren right now is splitting a truckload that he's going to deliver for me. Standing up and pointing at the camera, it sounds good. Thanks, Trevor. Maybe it, when I bend over or somehow, if it, if it pushes, you know, pushes on the mic. But I, Darren and I did a delivery yesterday. You can't hear what I'm saying. Oh, wait, you must have the sound off then there, Tommy. Probably should have shut this off, but oh well. I just filled it up with gas. It should be good. Get you back up here. And uh, we'll give her another go. But yeah, keep me updated on the microphone quality. If I have to, I'll take it off again. Should be able to see now. I'll try to be, be delicate. Delicate with it. Oh, hold on, it kind of fell inside. That might be the problem. Hold on. Wood world adjustment. Here. Let me retry this. Okay. That was inside my shirt. Should be better. I just got to make sure the antenna's out. And that, and that this, this jack is not getting bent around. Because that's what happened when, uh, when I tried using it last week. I had it right here and I'd bend over and I probably would crunch it. We'll I'll split a few of these. And come back over there and get a update on the quality, what you guys think, how you can hear me. Can you hear me now? I just have to find a spot to put this. It might not look professional, but as long as you can hear me, that's like the main thing, right? Yeah, I wonder if. Jays is here. Is that Tommy? You guys the same person? He and Jay Tommy? This stuff should dry really fast. I might, I might sell it next time uh, they need some. Instead of that stuff, that's supposed to be next over there. Some of these are kind of long, but it's uh, fine for the, uh, the restaurant, for the smoker. That's most likely who's going to get this.
little bit of decay on the inside, but it should be okay. I know having good sound quality is important to these videos. And I've had people complain before, they're just like, oh, I hate it when you have to yell. But if it's just a solo video of me, I think uh, I'll be wearing it. But when there's other people and you got to hear what they're saying, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Sometimes I like to surprise you guys with a Wednesday video, either shorts or live stream. I don't like these twisted ones. Yeah, I think if we could break 50 viewers at one time today, I'd be uh, impressed with that. Give me uh, incentive to make more. bigger pieces. Should be getting a order from my other restaurant that buys a uh, that buys hickory. Like right before New Year's. So then you know, four full months. Usually they go about, I don't know, ten weeks. But I did have them extra full because I didn't want to have to deliver to them in the winter time. Another thing that makes it hard, harder is that they're not cut square, they're like cut at angles. You know what I mean? Cut like this. And that plate, if it doesn't hit straight, it tends to flip it around.
This one's cutting great. But it might be a little twisted or knotty. It's kind of struggling with it. Usually carries pretty easy to split. Can you hear that uh, wood cracking? Yeah, this one's got a nice knot in it. That's what's making it hard. Break off all this kindling. I think I gotta send that one back through. Well, that was close. Almost got pinched. That's the prettiest piece. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give this one to mom. Couple more. I'll come over and check on you. Guess that one's going to be split on that side when I get over there. What do you think of this though? Creamy? Is it dry? report on the uh, speaker. I mean, we got watching now. 36, that's not bad. Uh, is the speaker doing better now that I wasn't tucked inside my shirt? What's up, Joe Kennedy? How's it going? Enjoying the show? You like the speaker? Or microphone, I should say? But uh, I'm going to start doing it uh, Dean style, outside of Michigan style. I'm going to split it right into that wheelbarrow and then take it over. We'll see how that goes. Lock it so far. So I don't, you know, if I take, when I take them five steps, then I can stack a bunch of it. You know, I mean, I'm only, really going. but we'll see how it goes. A nasty piece.
Some of it's crumbly, but for the most part, it's solid. this from watching outside of Michigan. Boy. I don't know. I almost should just this is so twisty. I should just boiler wood it. Yeah. Just boiler wood. I'm getting tired of fight, fighting these twisted ones. I should have just used the uh, single wedge. I got some uh, bundle bundle wood. I got to split. I'm gonna put it on for that. Maybe I should have put it on for this. Maybe it's dumb putting it in the uh, wheelbarrow oh, five feet. It's almost full. Another one going over there, that side. Uh, that wheelbarrow's about full. Make a long trip. Can you hear me? Now my other two alternatives were to uh, throw them on the ground and bend over and have to pick them up or, or walk them over here one at a time. Only take a couple wheelbarrow loads.
That worked out good. Got three equal pieces. Yeah, on uh, Sunday's video, when I started it, I had the wrong camera on, the, I had the selfie camera on. I cut out like the first 14 seconds of the video, but by doing that, I lost all the live chat and I couldn't see what you're saying. I could, I could uh, send it back the way it was, but the start of the video was kind of messed up, fuddling with the camera, trying to get it straight. and. Uh, People that aren't subscribers, kind of see that they're gonna click off right away. So, trying to make sure they wouldn't do that. But then you can't. I can't see what everybody said. I want to know. I want to know what everybody thought of it. We did a good job. We were safe. But, you know, I value you guys' opinion. Sometimes I don't agree with. Especially the haters. Yeah, Dean, if you're here outside of Michigan, I'm doing this for you. My split on that side is going to be a little closer, so I won't have to use the wheelbarrow. I won't have to go very far. The rip rap keep bringing me process wood, and then I, I don't have anything to do because I don't have a uh, vehicle to do deliveries with. I gotta fill up that darn wheelbarrow first instead of moving them over there. I just send this one like this. two feet. Don't want this falling over this way. I'll do one more, well, then the rest I can just stack as I split. Leave. Well, I don't know. Almost looked like boiler wood. Let's see what happens. I got a good piece out of it. Strip 
dripping off my face already. Probably take me another 10-15 right, minutes on this side, I'll be switching sides. Larry Cluck here yet? Colleen and Frank? I gave them a little bit of notice on Facebook. Finally out of Facebook jail. It seems like everybody's get, getting sawmills these days. I see that wood guy. Who's next? I mean. Got 50 yet? Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there, DM. You need some coffee? Look, uh, my customer that, let, that I used this uh, trailer for, he's like, oh, why don't you just keep it at your house? I'm running out of room here. Oh, no problem. So I could always fill that up, makes like an oversized truckload, and then Darren could just come hook up, or Jeff, or whoever I need to, or my brother, we could do deliveries with that. What you think about that, folks?
And all these pieces came from the trunk of that tree. I expect to get a few rejects and a whole, you know, a truck and trailer load, usually you're going to get some. As long as it's not like, you know, 10% or more of the load, it's not too bad. Again, this is a special Wednesday edition of the Joe Show. Could have did a shorts video too. I think more people tend to like the live streams better than the, than the shorts. Do not want to have to restack it. New suit. Leonard here from New Zealand. He usually can't make uh, make the Sunday live streams, but I've seen him on the Wednesday live stream before. Are you here, mate? dark. Hope it don't start raining. I don't mind a few sprinkles. If it starts raining, we're shutting her down. Saw surgeon should be getting on his break soon. His lunch break is coming up. Maybe he'll jump in. Yes, he was a saw surgeon was a big winner in uh, outdoor adventures giveaway the other night. Or not outdoor adventures. Adventure rolls.
although they do have some outdoor adventures. Oh, finally one that's not twisty. I think all those went back to Darren's house. The gravy train pieces, like this. Boy, this is like bone dry. Put that over there. A couple of these. It's good for campfire wood. You know, especially this, this outside part doesn't have very much meat on it. You know, what I mean? you know what I mean? Be good campfire wood, but it wouldn't be very good smoking wood. Got another one here. We can sell that campfire wood. And that was only half full when I started. We got to start rationing it. Well, I could always decide to fill it up with water. So we'll go on that side.
Another one going over there. Almost done. On this side. I gotta start filling up it in there. What you got now? Oh, four darn boy, we're almost hit my 50 goal. 25 likes. So you can see how much I got. Should be able to tell the difference from what was there and what I just split. And that's all that's left over here. I'm gonna just split that into there. And uh, no more needing the, the wheelbarrow except for, uh, for debris. He's all here, maybe we got an hour in. Anybody want a shout out? Hello, can you still hear me? Wonder if uh, oh, that's still working. Just wondering if the uh, looks like I got a good signal, so I think you guys can hear me. I'm assume you do. There was a comment I just missed, so hopefully. I'm gonna get all these ones that fell fell off the side. So I had somewhere to stand. Starting to finally wear off the paint on this four-way. I see Chris at the wood yard. His is like there's like no paint on the on anything up front on the wings or the front blade. I can barely stand right here. I gotta get these out of my way.
Got this one from the riff rack the other night. Pretty good one there. Can't do that. Can't be giving away the good stuff, folks. I like to surprise you guys once in a while with a Wednesday live stream. You just join in us. Say what the heck's going on? Is it Sunday already? Got these from Eric. You guys like that sound? Yeah, me too. This was a nasty one. Yeah, I'll probably work. Need that ship it? Yeah, we'll ship it. I want to get at least all this split right in here. And once this is full, we'll be good to go.
that didn't go how I planned. I guess that's, that'll work. Keep slipping off center. Well, hopefully I can go in the house and there'll be a call for some wood. I seen a Facebook a Facebook memory came across this morning and it said uh from uh, April 28th of 2017 and it was a post I did and it said I was delivering an oversized truck of uh, black locust to a customer that was ordering early and two oversized truck loads to a campground three in one day and it said that I uh, had only sold one and a half truck loads since April 15th of 2017 so now April's hit and miss. Last year was great. This one's got a knot in it. See if we can handle it. Just send it back through. Come on. Give up, notch. You get no match. Thank you. when it does that. I got all centered then it, it jerks and then I end up wait instead of splitting in half I just get a little tiny piece off and have to scrap it. Mainly, I want to make sure I get these green ones split, and the dry ones can just go into there that I got left.
thing I should give you guys notice when I do these live streams. Maybe put a poll up like the night before so you can plan on it. Or just surprise you. You like surprises? You like being surprised? And a reminder, I have uh, tomorrow's video already made for my other channel. I usually publish around uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It used to be Fridays, but it's kind of a long gap between Monday and Friday. Monday, but I split it out so it'd be three and four days in between videos instead of two and five. But you, know, you always got this channel where I'll be doing live streams and sometimes shorts. You know the shorts are pretty much worthless. They get a lot of views. That's about it. YouTube wants watch time. I'm getting some watch time now. I know it's already an hour long. little tiny limbs on there. I guess they're gonna have to go with it. Go with the piece. The green is not gonna want to break off. Oh, and uh, just a hint for, for tomorrow's video, I, it's my first one that I made with the microphone, so it's just a normal video. This is my second video with the mic microphone, but uh, I'm having technical difficulties with it because it was mounted down here, not right here. It's a lot safer right there. I think uh, Herb told me he was going to get four baskets ready of uh, bundle grade wood to take to the campground maybe by the end of the week but when they uh, had to mail me the check and that takes about a week so but uh, 
my brother and I, we delivered there a half truckload on Saturday, and the place was pretty packed. People were getting in there for the summer. I mean, it's only going to get more people here as soon as school's out. Almost got this wall rebuilt. Oh no, I thought this, uh, this cherry that we got, half of it, pretty good stuff. What Darren should be doing his delivery probably right about now. I had a little customer order from me. Not too far for him either. Need to clean this crap that's built up into here, but the chisel I use is, is on the quad. Back storage compartment of the quad. Beat the rain, knock on wood. I was surprised I haven't crossed any ants yet. So it was pretty solid. Especially down at the, at the trunk. Which is good for falling it. When it has that, uh, you know, that rotted wood. Nothing's holding it to break away at any time. Started pushing the whole pile. I don't know why some of this is so stringy. Usually, cherry splits like a dream. Not a nightmare, like hell.
making sure those were uh, hairy. You know who brought those? The riff raff. Found oak in there. Almost 12 inches. Let them go. Split them thick. They had me yelling and using the microphone. Like I need to put some grease on this. You hear that squeaking? We got a couple more to split. Oh, ouch! Got the family jewels buried. Barely. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I think you can hear that squeaking. I need to just buy some grease that I can just squeeze out of a, I don't know, tube and uh, put it on there when it starts doing that. I actually see a big one coming out. Maybe I'll do that and call it.
Next piece will be the last one. If you're in conversations on the live stream, I want to start wrapping them up. Now this one's going to have ants in it. Oh, and it's heavy. See holes like that. That means ants. Yep. That might have left town when he uh, cut it. There's the ants. We found them. Eviction notice, fellas. This is your eviction notice. I usually get most of them out, they end up leaving once their homes are busted up like that.
after the splitting. show you what we got since I started the video I don't know if anybody's been here from start to finish probably people have been popping in and out was that saw surgeon are you on lunch there is there's the boiler what I got that stuff's good right there yep I figured he'd be on lunch there's Colleen how are the cows doing How's G6 or N9? Those are kind of different names, but uh, I guess you don't want to make them your pet. So you got to do it like that. But uh, this is what I got left to split from it, from uh, the truck and trailer load. And I think I'm just going to throw it on top of here, mix it in with that. It's not going to be eight weeks before I do that. So, this stuff's going for campfire wood. That's what I got for mom. And uh, you can see how much I got, you know, from right, right here, this one, all the way over and up into there is what I just split and stacked today. I need to, uh, let me put that boiler wood away. I'll let you guys uh, start wrapping up them conversations. Now, I know you're not going to be able to hear me talk when I go that far away. I uh, take these uh, pieces of boiler wood over here. But, yeah, I like it. You know, Darren brings me blocks. Gives me something to do when I don't have deliveries, which I pretty much can't deliver anything anyway right now. Brad's let me burn his, uh, his trailer there. And I could... When I get the quad back, I could take it to the piles and uh, get it filled up. We can do uh, this truck without having to take Because that's a major pain in the butt. So yeah, you just, I mean, I probably could have got, got a piece out of this. I, I don't know, but it's like twisted and I, I, it ends up being scrap anyway. That's what boiler wood is. I lose, uh, you're gonna lose my voice here for a second. I take these over here, but uh, you know, we're an hour and a half into the video already. Got to let this cool down though before I cover it up, just in case any rain's coming. Like I say, if you've seen the start of the video, you've seen how much was here. That's how much is left. And, uh, you know, to only get four pieces of boiler wood out of it. And then uh, this load for my mom. 
this is uh, pretty good. She doesn't think we're going to have any more fires. It's going to only be 57 on Friday and down to 36 in the morning Saturday. So they'll probably have a, one Friday and then Saturday morning. But next week looks like all 70s, maybe 80 on Sunday. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for uh, stopping by this Wednesday edition of the Joe Show. Do appreciate you guys. Thanks for the five dollar super chat. I'll watch it tonight and see who did that. Thank you again. So, uh, reminder that tomorrow on Joe's Firewood videos too, I'll have a video posted around four p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I guess until then, have a safe rest of the week. See you on the next one.